2022 Acura MDXA Spec Review, on It's a Game. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. I'ma let you finish, but the Acura MDX is the best-selling premium three-row crossover of all time. Granted, the MDX is also one of the oldest premium three rows in America, arriving stateside in 2001. But that doesn't change the fact the MDX's winning formula has made it a hit among buyers for the past two decades, and that won't change anytime soon. The 2022 Acura MDX takes the sharp looks, smooth demeanor, and affordable pricing of its predecessor and packages it all a bit better. The new familial face and diamond pentagon grille marks a huge improvement over its predecessor's ungainly beak. The sporty A-spec package, like on our tester, offers more comprehensive upgrades, and the thoroughly modernized interior with the brand's true touchpad interface brings the MDX up to date with its more upscale rivals. This new MDX is a huge improvement. Acura's new design language, first seen on the RDX and TLX, fits the larger MDX exceptionally well. Simply put, this is one of the best-looking three rows on sale today. The bold front end wears the brand's signature grille and slim LED headlights, while black dot the body courtesy of the stylish A-Spec package, a $3,500 option. The refinished rear sport sleek LED taillights and trapezoidal exhaust tips, and the 20-inch shark gray wheels are exclusive to this trim, and probably our favorite of all seven available wheel options. The interior is eye-catching, too. The A-Spec exclusive red leather and faux suede black accents make the cabin feel bright and bold, while real brushed aluminum accents dot the door panels. The dash layout is mostly clean, with a long 12.3-inch screen perched atop it. There is a bit of clutter when it comes to things like the climate control buttons and placement of the volume knob, and the piano black trim on the dash isn't our favorite, it attracts fingerprints like a magnet. Other versions of the MDX offer matte wood accents that we'd much prefer. At any rate, the inside of the MDX is still a very nice place to be. The leather buckets in the MDX are super cushy, with standard 12-way power adjustability, and the A-Spec package includes both heating and ventilation functions. The front seats aren't as form-fitting as you might find in alternatives like the Audi Q7 or Cadillac XT6, but their Lazy Boy qualities make them perfect vessels for toiling away hours of highway driving. The second row isn't as comfortable comparatively, the bench is a little stiff, but it does transform into two captain's chairs simply by removing the middle seating position. This new MDX is slightly longer than its predecessor, with 139.1 cubic feet of total passenger volume, 6.4 more cubes than the previous model. And this crossover does feel spacious and airy in the first row, affording driver and passenger a solid 38.5 inches of front headroom and 41.6 inches of front legroom. Those aren't best-in-class figures for headroom, to be fair, the Infiniti QX60, 40.7 inches, Audi Q7, 39.9 inches, and even the Cadillac XT6, 39.8 inches, are slightly better in that respect, but the MDX's legroom figure is better than Cadillac's and equal to Audi's. The second row feels a bit tighter, though not offensively so. But the MDX's 38.1 inches of headroom and 38.5 inches of legroom are on the lower end for the class. Access to the third row is relatively easy at least, even with the second row bench in place. A one-touch button folds the seat forward, opening up a narrow entryway for access to the rearmost row. And once there, the third row offers a modest 36.2 inches of headroom and 29.1 inches of legroom, decent, if not slightly below average figures for the class. But like many mid-size crossovers with a third row, this isn't a place you want to put average-sized adults over long distances. Behind the MDX's third row is 16.3 cubic feet of cargo space, an improvement of 1.5 cubes over the previous model, or 18.1 cubes with a reconfigurable cargo floor in its lowest position. With the third row folded flat, the MDX has 39.1 cubic feet, and with all seats flat, the Acura offers 71.4 cubes. That's better than what you get on the Q7, but down slightly on the QX60 and XT6. When it comes to tech, the MDX's tech is that true touchpad interface is the star. A carryover from the RDX and TLX, placing your finger in a specific location on the square infotainment touchpad controller highlights a corresponding selection on the 12.3-inch screen. If an icon is in the top right of the screen, for example, simply place your finger on the top right of the touchpad controller to activate it. 
The setup certainly takes some time to get used to, but once you figure it out, it's one of the better options out there currently. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.